Welcome back, Wonderlanders. It's so good to see you all again. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris. I'm Sam. And we're going to be headed to Disney World soon, and we figured this would be a great time to kind of go over what's in our park bags. So these items work best for us. We've been going to the parks for quite some time now, and we've kind of changed uh, the stuff that we've brought into the park and even the packs that we bring, and we feel like we've dialed it in finally into what works best for us. So we hope that if you watch this video, whether you're a, a newcomer to Disney or a Disney vet, that maybe we bring something new to the table or maybe you can just kind of take this information and kind of go with it and just do your own thing. So if you like the video, go ahead and give us a like and hit that subscribe button to see all of our future magical adventures. So let's get into this, what's in my park bag? But first, the bag. You want me to go first or do you want yeah, to go first? first yeah. Okay, I'm a simple man. At least I am now. I have a small pack. I used to bring my big Carhartt backpack. Mm -hmm. I was like the pack mule. We'd put everything in there. And though I was able to do it, it was kind of straining, you know, carrying everything that we needed. We also found after years of going to the parks that we were bringing things that we really yeah. didn't need. So we've since then downsized. So what I like to bring into the parks now is the sling pack. Bum bag, fanny pack, <laughs> crossover. Whatever you want to call it, but this guy right here. Um, this is really great for what I need. It fits everything that I need to bring into the parks. Um, and if I pick up any other things like pins or really small items, they can fit right here. Um, I have multiple different kinds, but that's for the later on in the series. But this one you can get on Amazon. It's by Waterfly. I think it was like 20 bucks. Uh, super affordable. I have to say this is a game changer for me. So I highly recommend these for sure. And anything that we mention, if I can find a link for it, I will link it in the description box below so you guys can easily click and shop what's in our park bag. Now granted, we do not get paid on any of these items. These are just items that we have found that work for us and want to share the link for you so you can get those items too. And as for me, I like to use a backpack. Uh, sometimes I do use the Loungefly backpacks, but most times I find that they're a bit too small for my liking. So this last vacation, I actually bought this nylon backpack um, off of Etsy. It was a small shop and I'll link her shop below. What I liked about this bag is all of the different compartments. You have a front, a middle, a back, and actually you have these water pockets look at that for your water bottle um so this was fantastic to use um, and i will link the etsy shop below all right so now that we talked about the backpack and my sling pack let's talk about what goes actually in them i figured i'd go first since my pack's kind of small all right first and foremost i think the biggest thing to kind of talk about real quick is kind of the obvious and that's tissues and hand sanitizer I cannot tell you how important these two items are. <laughs> this is a lifesaver, and if you are not bringing these into the park, highly recommend it, especially hand sanitizer. It's basically just part of our ritual whenever we get off a ride, put a little bit in our hands, go about our day. So, gotta have these, must have. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about that I bring into the park is my wallet. Uh, you can actually find this one on Amazon. It's from Disney. Really cool design, really neat, super slim, right? Uh, it fits everything that I need. It has um, slides on both the front and the back for credit cards, debit cards, gift cards. I only really bring my uh, ID, a debit card, and a couple Disney gift cards to kind of get us through. It also has a little zipper compartment in the middle if you're gonna bring cash or you have a loose change. But this is a game changer. I don't like to have my wallet in my back pocket. This fits right to my sling pack quick access, I can pull it out really, really easy. It has everything that I need. So, plus it's really cool. It's Disney themed and bright yellow, so it's kind of hard to miss. So, I like this a lot. So another thing I want to talk about are straws. Now, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the paper straws. I get it, you know, save the planet. They're a lot better than plastic or the fake plastic like agave straws. Sometimes you get a drink too that you wish you had a straw, but you didn't, and maybe you've already walked far away from wherever you were, and you know you don't want to go back to get a straw. Reusable straws are definitely a must for my pack, and you use them as well too. Mm -hmm. These are really great. You can get them on Amazon as well, and they um, extend. So you can have it like this, put it in your drink, you're good to go. It comes in a nice, really 
cool little pack and inside with it as well it comes with a little brush um, to clean it if you get back to the hotel or sometimes I'll go to the bathroom and kind of give it a rinse if it's sticky or whatnot and they just fold right up and they go right back into the pack and it's super convenient um, you know sometimes I'll just drink it without it but there are times where I want a straw and these help out a lot so highly highly recommend again we're gonna put all the links all these items in the description below majority of the stuff you can find on Amazon or Etsy but mainly Amazon though mm -hmm. so the next thing I want to talk about are band-aids mm -hmm. you would think that you wouldn't need these but you do but believe it or not these aren't for cuts I mean maybe you never know but they're mainly for blisters mm -hmm. look we've all been there it happens maybe your feet get wet you do not want to be walking around the parks with the blister because it's only going to get worse and it's extremely uncomfortable. So I pack a couple of these in my pack just in case. I also sometimes bring some moleskin uh, to kind of help with that. But I'm telling you, if you're not bringing band-aids to Disney for the sole purpose of blisters, you're doing yourself an injustice. <laughs> pack these. So another important item is the battery pack. I cannot tell you how important this is to have in the Disney parks. I take a lot of photos and videos, but besides that, I mean, you're gonna be using your phone a lot in the parks for quick service, uh, dinner reservations, Genie Plus, Lightning Lanes, all that stuff. The last thing you wanna happen is have your phone die in the middle of the park. So I highly recommend the battery pack. Um, this one I got on Amazon, it's by the company Own, or On, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but this thing fully charged can charge two phones and a couple other devices from a full charge and I want to say it was like 30 bucks. I'm not quite sure how much it was, but definitely worth it. And the one that Chris has actually has a dual USB slot. And I think that's what, a micro? Yeah, so it has dual USB, so you can actually charge two devices at once, technically three devices at once, and then it has a um, USB-C, no, excuse me, um, micro USD um, port. So you can charge three items with this, um, it charges things pretty quick. I've had a phone at like, let's say 20% mm -hmm. and like 20 minutes later, it's been at like 85. Highly recommend, do not go into a park without these. Just make sure when you're going in through security that you just take it out yeah. and hold it out in front of you when you're kind of going through because it will set it off and they have to be pulled aside and they'll go through your bag and all that stuff. But definitely recommend a battery bank for sure. Absolutely. And last but not least, for the last item that I keep in my, my pack, this isn't a requirement, but you'll find that you may need it, mm -hmm. are these guys right here. Please excuse the fact that it's a little beat up. Uh, they have been used, but these are pin backers. Now you can buy these at any uh, pin trader location, gift shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're throughout the entire Disney park. They're 10 bucks for 10 of them, and it comes with a little Allen key to uh, adjust it so you can put it on. If you don't know what these are, they're basically, uh, locks for your pins. When you buy pins at Disney World, they come with these little Mickey rubber stoppers and they just fall off and you'll lose your pin and it's just a pain in the butt. With these, you put them on the back and you tighten it and I've had pins rip off and the backings were still <laughs> on. That's how good they work. So again, not, not needed because you can buy them in the park um, but I bring them because I like the pin trade and I'm yeah. becoming a bit of a pin collector myself. So these are, these are really cool. Gotta recommend it. So yeah, so that's basically what I bring into the parks in my sling pack. It's everything that I need. It's right there. It's quick access. I mean, a lot of the rides, I don't even have to take that off. I can just keep it on. And for some of the rides where the cast members will ask you to take something off like that, it fits perfectly into that little net bag that goes between your legs. So it's, it's really good. Works for me. I hope it can work for you if you're thinking about maybe downsizing, if maybe you're the person that would use a big backpack, Sling Pack is highly recommended for me. All right, enough about me and my pack. Let's talk a little bit more about your pack. So the first item in my backpack, which Chris touched on a few hygienic items earlier in the video, I'm also gonna throw in wet wipes. Uh, these are a must have. You know, wipe down your hands, wipe down a table when you're about to eat as well. And also, you know, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but we do a lot of trash can dining. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that, if you don't know, because if you know, you know, a lot of times, you know, the parks get really busy and maybe some of the tables that are available are full or maybe they're like in the sun. So we'll find the trash cans and we'll wipe down the top and, you know, set up shop. We'll put our food down there and kind of eat and record. So 
don't discourage it. I know it sounds crazy, but we do a lot of trash can dining. That's Just why saying. you have these to, to yeah. help you with your trash can <laughs> dining. Must, must need. I, I promise you bring these. So second item that I have in my backpack are going to be sunglasses. I oh. typically am wearing them. I forgot about sunglasses. Oh, sounds familiar. Sometimes we forget <laughs> our sunglasses. So I normally keep one set of sunglasses in my backpack and then sometimes bring, like wear a second pair. Um, but it's sunny in Florida, it's sunny in California, whatever Disney park you visit in the US, you are definitely going to need sunglasses. Sometimes I don't bring my case. I know the cases sometimes can set off the security alarms. So when you're walking through security, like Chris said earlier, bring your battery, your external battery out, bring your glasses case out and you should be fine walking through security. So the third item that I have in my backpack are going to be my camera accessories, my tripod and my camera pack, which has my memory cards and my extra batteries. If you're a content creator or just vlogging your trip family style, uh, make sure you have extra batteries and extra memory cards. I've learned that the hard way. So yeah. that would be, <laughs> that'd be a necessity. Can't tell you how many times I've made the rookie mistake of having my camera battery die on so the safari ride or going through uh, a queue. Bring extra batteries, bring extra memory cards. Your camera will thank you. So next item is going to be chapstick. You gotta have your chapstick. It's so important. It is very important. And Bliss Text does have SPF 15. There are other chapsticks out there with more SPF. And I would say a bonus thing to carry would be sunscreen. Typically, Chris and I put on our sunscreen before we enter the park and we will reapply if we're going back out in the late afternoon if needed. So protect your skin, protect your lips, just add that extra SPF whenever you can. It's very important, especially if you're visiting Disney World yeah. in Florida. Some other items that I tend to carry in my backpack are hair ties, claw clips. I do bring a hairbrush. Um, sometimes I'll bring a hat or Mickey ears uh, to accessorize oh, yeah. and you got to make sure your hair is nice and flowy. It gets hot in Orlando so I tend to put my hair up halfway through the day. So some other things that I bring in my backpack are going to be medications such as Tylenol and Advil. Um, sometimes I don't drink enough water so those help just popping them in. Tums as well. Um, oh, you yeah. learn as you get oh, older. Yeah. <laughs> you can't Tums. eat like you used to. Tums. <laughs> so Tums. Um, Chris and I love to snack around the parks, yeah. so sometimes our, you know, some things uh, don't agree with us. So Tums, and I typically get the little travel pack. I don't have them right now. They're on my target list to get for our trip. Get but... the smoothie flavor. The smoothie flavor. I mean, I, sometimes if I'm feeling risque, I'll just like pop a couple just to eat just because. Yeah, they actually, good. they actually taste pretty good. <laughs> They're so. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Tums. Put that on your list. Yeah. So we went over some of the items that we have to have in our park bags, but we're going to also list out several of the items that we tend to either walk around with or we tend to bring if only needed. First and foremost, if you are going to Florida, even if it's January because it still gets hot, but specifically for the hotter months in Florida, which is like 11 months out of the year, mm. I highly recommend a neck fan. Okay, these are a game changer. Samantha has one. Yeah, let um, me get mine. Yeah, yeah, go pull it out. These are, listen, I cannot recommend these enough. Again, you can get these at Amazon. I think this one was a little under 30, mm -hmm. so was Samantha's. Yeah. I like this the best. Now you see some people with the handheld fans or they have the one that goes around the neck, but it comes out and it's like the two little small fans that point at you. No, do not get those. Do not waste your money. Do not waste your time. Get these. These fit around your neck. Let me see if I can, the power button, maybe you can hear it. But put it around your neck and it has three settings. It has a low, a medium, and then a high. And these things are a game changer when it's hot outside. And they are chargeable, so please yeah. make sure, pro tip, make sure you charge them the night before you get mm -hmm. into the parks. That's typically what Chris and I do. And I will add that these are very comfortable. You really don't yeah. notice that they're there. And they're very light, too. Yeah. And, and, you know, this one's a darker green, and you would think that, oh, it must get hot or absorb the heat, but it, it really doesn't. Yeah. Um, we get about 
three hours. Mm -hmm. um, and if they do die, that's the external battery comes into play. We just have a cable that goes up to it and you can charge it while you're using it. So uh, if you're going to Florida, get these. Don't be lost without them. I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna be rough. So in addition to the neck fan, I know Chris does not like these, but I do have a handheld fan. That's plan B. So plan A, plan B. So once this dies, because Unlike Chris, I do use it all the time. <laughs> I always have a second fan. So once again, I highly, highly, highly recommend, no matter what type of fan works for you, you can, you'll can you find what works best yeah. for you, but I recommend having a fan from the months of like April to like October. Yeah. We even wore them on our honeymoon trip in like late October, early mm -hmm. November. Uh, Florida weather is unpredictable. So it, it just, it's hot. So this is probably, I would say this is like top three items if I were to bring to she sometimes She sometimes uses them both at the same yeah, time. absolutely. Beyonce fan. Th this, is, this, is per this is all I need. <laughs> all I need is perfect. All right, so another item that we feel is a necessity, at least for us, that doesn't necessarily fit in our pack, though I know on your backpack it has a little side compartment mm -hmm. for it, are water bottles. Now, we've tried um, a couple different options and these work the best for us. Yeah. Uh, I believe they hold, I want to say 16 ounces. Yeah. And the thing about these that are great is they're insulated. So uh, when you go to the, the parks and they have the, the um, what am I trying to think of? The, uh, the, water, the water, water filling stations, yes. right? That water that comes out of that isn't necessarily ice cold, but it is definitely cool. If you put it into, let's say, a plastic water bottle or the collapsible ones or anything that's not insulated, give it 30 or 40 minutes and it's going to be warm. It's going to sweat. So these are perfect for us because normally what we do is we start the day off with this being filled up with Powerade, we drink it all the way down, and then we just fill it up throughout the day. You do not want to be paying like 6 or $7 for a bottle of water. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And pro tip, if you go to any quick service location, a cast member will give you a cup of water. And if you're nice, they'll get you ice in there too. Yep. So definitely get these. They're really light. They're great. They can fit around your your wrist if you want to. This is perfect. Stay hydrated. Your yes. body will thank you. Yes. Now, lastly, and I would love to say the most obvious, but we've heard stories of people forgetting this item to the parks, which I get it. We've all been there. We've been new to the uh, Disney experience, and um, it can be uh, real daunting to kind of go about it, but the Magic Band. You, you, you need these. They're super cool. If you don't know about these, um, this is basically everything uh, you need to get into the parks and the uh, Disney resorts. It has all your information that's connected through the My Disney Experience app. So as far as credit card, name, all that stuff is all attached to this. So you can scan into the park and then also buy things with it. Uh, you go to a dinner and you want to pay for it, you can just ask the cast member and they'll just have you just, you know, scan the magic band. Now technically you can kind of do everything through the My Disney Experience app, mm -hmm. but sometimes that does crash. If you have um, an uh, Apple Watch, you can also have that attached to that as well through an app. But again, this does not go down whatsoever. It will be tried and true, always works. Just have to charge it, whereas the app can sometimes kind of mess up and, and that's the last thing you want is to not be able to even get to the park. So Magic Bands, gotta have it. They come in different styles and just, yeah, they're cool. I like them. So that's what we pack in our park bags. We really hope that this video helped you guys, whether you're a Disney vet or a first time Disney World adventurer, we really hope that you found this very helpful. And as I mentioned before, I will do my best to link all of the items that I can that are available in the description below. And with that being said, Thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed what you saw and uh, hope you can use this information to kind of make your Disney experience just a little bit better. And we have a Disney trip coming up that we're super, super excited to share with y'all. Some really exciting news and some information and it's coming up so close, like we're almost there. But thanks again for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a like. Hit that subscribe button so that way we can continue doing this content for y'all and let's see what happens next. Bye. Thank you.